Welcome! This is the third lecture in the Seeds of Ubuntu course. Ubuntu is very practical, but it is also abstract, speaking to our highest being and potential and to life as a process of becoming, making it not only difficult, but also undesirable to make any fixed claims when it comes to the origins, meanings and the definitions of Ubuntu. In this course, we pay a visit to ancient Africa as we look for the origins of Ubuntu and we highlight some key aspects and properties of Ubuntu that we have found to be of great value when it comes to understanding what Ubuntu is and how it works. And we honour Africa, the cradle of humankind, for her historic contribution to natural sciences, creative arts, human settlement and organisation, and the universe of philosophy and spirituality. Now, although Ubuntu is uniquely expressed and lived in Africa, we recognise that unity consciousness is inherent in all human beings, and therefore it would be present in every culture and would stem from the deepest values of any particular society. In this course, we honour the origins of Ubuntu, of unity consciousness, through the ancient African Kemetic spirituality that is taught by various Ubuntu thought leaders and authors on ancient African spirituality, cosmology and indigenous knowledge. With this, we trace the values and the principles that Ubuntu has become so well known for to the Nechar of Ma'at, said to have been discovered approximately 1,500 years before the discovery of the Ten Commandments. According to this ancient knowledge, Ma'at, the goddess of law, order and justice, stands at the centre of Ubuntu with the two being interchangeable. Ma'at is referred to by many as the original African way of living. Learning about Ma'at as a means to appreciate Ubuntu is truly enriching. Proof of the ancient Kemetic spirituality is found in more recent years, in the early 1900s, in the teachings of Ukwazi Kwesi Tabangu the science which depends on the power of thought, of the Bona Abakulu Abasakemu, the brotherhood of the higher or the wise ones of Egypt. Who we are as human beings and what Ubuntu means could of course never be fully appreciated without honouring and considering our first people, the Khoisan, and their ancient thoughts on life and unity. The inherent respect of the Khoisan for the underlying unity of life is beautifully reflected in their story of the Supreme God, who is said to be living in the East, and the opposing evil God, who lives in the West. Because they understood that life contained both good as well as evil, the Khoisan combined the coexistence of good and evil in the personality of Kagan, represented by an eland. Many Khoisan stories speak of Kagan trying to trick the hunters to help the eland, the unity of life, to escape. We found proof of the Khoisan appreciation for the unity of life in this ancient quotation. We do not know where Kagan, the unity of life, is, but the eland do. Have you not hunted and heard his cry, when the eland suddenly start and run to his call? Where he is, the eland are in droves like cattle. As we share in the beginning of this lesson, to give any ultimate definition and explanation of Ubuntu would go against the very spirit of Ubuntu. Instead, we choose to emphasize certain aspects, elements and characteristics of Ubuntu that would help us to define and to know what Ubuntu means. So, here are some key aspects, elements and characteristics of Ubuntu. 
there is no direct translation of Ubuntu or Bortu. When dissected, the word Ubuntu means Ubu to become and Huntu, the African root word for highest being or highest potential. Ubuntu is most often explained through the saying Umuntu Ngamuntu Ngabantu and Moto Kemoto Kabatu, meaning a person is a person through other persons. In African worldview, Umuntu or Motu, a person, although unique and sovereign, is never separate from the greater community that includes nature and the environment and the greater cosmos. Ubuntu is about our humanness and about family and community. It is about values and principles and about caring and sharing. Ubuntu is reciprocal and inclusive. Ubuntu points to the inextricable, interrelated, interconnected and interdependent, the oneness reality of life. Ubuntu renders the person and all of life as divine and sacred. Ubuntu points to the person as part of the greater universe and all of life in a process of becoming its highest potential. Ubuntu is the expression of our highest being, our highest potential, of our love. This brings us to the end of Lesson 3. We hope that you enjoyed travelling far and to ponder on Ubuntu and the underlying unity of life, where it comes from, what it means and how it works. Thank you for listening.